Thursday workdays in October were always jam-packed with getting ready for fall, planting, late summer harvests, and there was always some encounter with bugs, critters. Check it out. The Monday before, I found Renee checking on my weeping acacia tree. Well, it's some insect. We know it's some insect, right? We can check it out. I washed all that off the other day, and now it's more. Everywhere this is, the branch just dies. Okay. You see the brown stuff here? They kill the leaves. I know, they're killing the, the leaf and the branch. It's almost like a marshmallow. It's really sticky. It's hard to get off. It's like glue. That's why I said it's like meringue or, or a marshmallow. Is, is there an insect inside there? The mystery has not been solved. It's got to be an insect. Yeah. It's like gel. It's gooey. See? I know. Like mucus. <laughs> like mucus, yeah. White mucus. It's gross. And it's killing my tree. But you don't see a bug in there, huh? No, but something is causing this. I know. I cannot find that. See that thing, that brown stuff on my finger there? The little, two little spots? The brown and black. That's okay, like right there? Mm-hmm. Those two little spots? Yes. So it could be that, that little black thing? Mm-hmm. Here. Okay. Uh, something that small could have made all of that goo. See. Oh, you see it? See something? That little thing there. Pull it out. I can't. I can't see it. Oh, that thing. That that little yellowy kind of thing. Oh, that thing. That's not part of the branch. No. That thing, the white stuff, is like eggs. But after a second spray with just water, it seems to be mostly gone. Hmm. See, this is out. I just want to unveil this. See, it's coming brand new. I know, we'll see what happens. This is cut it off today. It was time to harvest my second and last Musk de Maroc pumpkin. Wow, it's gorgeous. Uh, can you bring it over here in the sun? Very nice. That's amazing. That's a Musk de Maroc. It has to be finished, don't you think? You want to leave it like that or you want to cut that? Uh, yeah, go ahead and cut it. Think. Okay. <laughs> All done. Okay. All for the pumpkin for the Halloween. Halloween. No, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Just put it in your door. Next, I harvested the last of the beets, cow peas, tomatoes, and cucumber. While Lyndon napped. These are the last of my fresh cow peas. And I'm going to cook them together with some chard and beet greens and have peas and greens in one dish. And Eric cleared out the cow pea vines in the raised bed. This is the only bed I didn't add wood chips because carrots grow well in it. Carrots need very sandy, loose soil with no clumps or rocks to grow straight. So we go to the trouble once a year to screen the soil in this bed. Once the soil was screened, the top layer was misted. Then I pressed the edge of a stake down an inch to make a groove for each row. Planting carrot seed is challenging because the seeds are so small. I inoculated my seeds again with MycoGrow and sprinkled them out of the pack as uniformly as I could. 
Seeds only need to be lightly covered with soil, one eighth to one quarter of an inch deep. We used a quarter inch screen to dust the compost over the seeds. A screen smaller in diameter would have produced more accurate results. Carrot seeds must remain moist for up to 27 days till germination, which is challenging without irrigation or rain. We set the drip line back up and the raccoon protection. These 360 degree sprinkler heads tend to create puddles, whereas what you want is an even misting over the seeds. So check out this little pot here. Now I planted two peanuts in this pot and I've got four clocks and this looks like cucumber. Oh goody! mildew before it's even made a flower. Next project was to pot up these peanuts from one gallon to five. You're supposed to mound up peanuts like potatoes so I planted them low in the pot with a lot of soil and wood chips on top and some crushed eggshells for good measure. The volunteer cucumber went into the green bin within a week. I evaluated this pot and determined the basil was crowding out the EE toy onions, so I chopped it back. At the end of the day, we planted the lupin and the white sage I bought at Annie's and brought back in my backpack on the plane. So here's the promised critter, my very pregnant praying mantis. You saw her before in my flowers video, shot the same day. She's waiting for prey. I haven't seen her egg sac, but I hope she left it in my garden. Thank you so much for watching. To the end, please give me that thumbs up and share this channel with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Morning. Hey, how you doing? Good. That's a squash. It's a pumpkin. It's called Musk de Maroc and it's ready to pick. This one over here is, yeah.